What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a lot with the van. We've got some sound deadening stuff. We're going to end up laying the floor. Probably do something with the walls. We got a lot going on. First off, this is what I got as far as the sound deadening stuff right here. We got kill mats. These shiny guys right here. And I'm going to start off by putting them on the floor. Some people do, some people don't. I don't think it's going to hurt to do it. I'm not exactly sure how far this is going to last us as far as covering the entire van, the floor, and the walls. So I'm just gonna start off with the floor and then go from there. In every video that I've seen so far, stresses having one of these rollers if you're doing this. But before you're ready to lay down the kill mat, you're gonna wanna make sure you wipe down with some acetone or some other type of heavy duty cleaner because if the floor is dirty and there's dust, pieces of the carpet still left over, the mat's not gonna wanna stick. So you just wanna make sure it's freshly cleaned and then you should have no problems. I'm just gonna start by acetoning little pieces at a time. I'm not gonna do the whole van. I've already wiped it out once, but I honestly think I'm gonna do a section at a time, lay down the mat, wipe it, lay down the mat, just like that. All right, so we're gonna get a rag, and some acetone here. Give it a little bit. We're gonna start up here in this corner. Just make sure we get every little spot that we think we're gonna end up putting that mat in. And it's a little dark in here, so I'm gonna use this little guy right here just to check it over real quick. Looks good enough to me. Here we go, we're going with our first sheet of kill mat. We're just gonna start off with the top. We're not gonna take the whole piece off. So you got like one shot with these things. Try to slide it up under there where I feel like it'd be good. Just gonna keep taking a little bit at a time, squishing it out. Now we're gonna go in with our rollers. There it is, there's our first sheet of kill mat installed and we got a lot more to do. This is the first mat of many, but I really think it's gonna be worth it. One with the sound deadening factor, and these are supposed to be, I believe, semi-waterproof or waterproof, and it might even help a little bit with insulation. Before we can do the next step, I gotta get all these installed, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alright, we're starting to get into the tricky part. Like this stuff right here might be a little scary at first, but if you just get a piece of cardboard and just kind of roughly trace it out, you'll be fine. It's not like there's a bunch of little pieces you have to work around. It's like these big pieces like this, there. So it's not too hard, it's just part of the process.
All right, it's another day and we're out here working on this Astro van. I ran out of the kill mat and all I got are these little scraps right here. But on the bright side, we have another box that just came in the mail. Pretty much, I just have to do around the wheel wells. And then I want to stick it in some of those pieces, like right there, that's actually on the outside to stop some of that from rattling. I gotta cut off these pieces right here. I think they're gonna get in the way as well. And I think it'll just be a lot easier if they're gone. I'm gonna jump to that right now. It's another day and I'm out here and I still gotta cut off some of those small pieces. Make sure you got some ear protection cause it gets loud. And plus when you're in a garage and it's echoing, it's not good stuff. Right there. Oh, we got her. All right, I finally got everything cut off. And then the stuff that's on the floor or lower in the van, I gave it a coat of spray paint just so that there wasn't any bare metal to rust. Probably don't have to do that, but I really think it will help preventing a problem like that. This next part's gonna be super fun. We're gonna be putting the kill mat on the ceiling. And with this being the passenger van and not the cargo van, it's kind of hard to work with. There's some different pieces, there's more framing in it, and the ceiling runs all the way back. In the cargo vans, it's already cut out exactly where you need it to be. So this is gonna be a little tricky, and I'll have to figure out exactly where I wanna cut it. I'll probably still leave a little extra, and my plan is, just so it looks a little neater, is I'm gonna keep tearing off this fabric right here, so that when I get to the end right here, I can just fold it over top of it. Finally, I have fully kill matted the inside of the Astro van. Check this out, guys. A little over the top, but I mean, it's done. We did it, and at least now we know there shouldn't be hardly any sound coming out of this van. I've covered up everything except for right here where this AC unit is. I'll just place some more over there once we get this taken out. And right here in the ceiling, because that is where our fan is gonna go. I mean, she's all done, ready to go. And this right here, guys, is the vinyl flooring I chose. I like the looks of some of the darker vinyl flooring, but that's gonna show up a lot of dust, dings if they end up happening. Really, I'm not planning on dragging anything too serious across it, but as far as dust and dirt, I know that would show up really well on a dark color. So I think this lighter color will be good for that. And honestly, I just kinda like it. Kinda goes with the van. It's cool. And I got my two sheets of plywood right here. They're three quarter inch thick and it kind of sucks because it's only a couple feet short of where I needed to actually have two pieces of plywood. But we have extra now. I also made sure to keep this black part that was underneath the carpet. I don't know what this would be, the mat. We'll call it the mat. So I can use that to trace out on that to go in there. Before I cut it, I think I actually might cut this in half so I can stick it in the van, and then I'll just trace the one side of that and see how close that gets me.
All right, guys, I'm gonna say that the back is finally done. I even put in this trim piece right here. The only thing I need to do is put another piece of trim right along in there. But I just gotta get the aluminum for that, and then it's completely done. I really like how it turned out. I think the colors all work good together. And I do really like this trim piece right there. It kind of cleans it up. And then like I said, once I get that right there, it's going to make it look that much better. And I'm thinking about putting another piece across there as well. But we'll see. For now, this is what we're going with. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Next up for the van, I got to get the sides all done and the ceiling. But before I can do the ceiling, I got to get some kind of ceiling fan. There's a bunch of different models of that, so I'll let you guys know what one I decide on. Then next up's gonna be adding some insulation, and then the walls, and then it's gonna be coming together pretty good. I mean, I'm already using it. I've been on multiple trips with the van already, but once it's completely done, and I have, you know, the fan, and more of the, like, homey things, like the bed in it, I think it's gonna be really cool. And then you can go on longer trips. Doesn't have to be a night or two. You can actually go for, like, a week or something, and, feel like you're in a house almost. Got a lot of ideas for this thing. I hope you guys are enjoying the van build. This has been a long process. Everything takes way longer than you think it should, but you know, I'm enjoying it. Taking it all in while I still can before it's all finished. And then I'll be able to enjoy it on all the trips. But this is all I have for today. So we'll see you guys in the next one. First car for the night, guys. This thing's a tank. This thing, like it's hefty. It's got some muscle to it. It's huge. Just swallowed a bug.